Welcome to Southern Fairways Game Improvement Series. My name is Ray Schusler. Teach full time here at Gulf Shores Golf Club in Kiva Dunes with Schusler Golf Academy. We are looking forward to helping you improve your game. Okay, we're going to get started in this segment on the low hanging fruit, as I call it, stuff that I work on with every student, regardless of age, skill level. I've worked with high level golfers and beginners. So, the, the main thing we want to do, our only relationship with the club is our hands. So we want to get the grip in a position that allows us to give us the ball flight we're looking for. So most people, you know, want to play a fairly straight shot. So I'm going to show you what a neutral grip is. And a neutral grip would be one where if you have a square club face and if you're placing your left hand on the club, you position it into the fingers and then wrap your fingers as such around the grip. Now I've marked my glove where you can see the two dots so that tells me I'm in a pretty good position there and you can notice where the thumb is to the right of the top of the shaft. Now that's neutral. This would be more of a fade bias. This would be a little strong, a little more right to left for a right-handed golfer. Okay. So a very simple way to do it is go ahead and get the club head square in your hands Place the handle across your fingers, wrap your fingers around the handle, and then with your, hand, your right hand already in position, just slide it down, and now we got a nice neutral grip. Now when you're looking down at my hands, you should see both V's are slightly towards the right side of my chest, and that would be neutral. Again, a fade grip would be more on top, and a little bit too strong would be more to the right. Now the Hall of Fame is full of different grips, but these are players that have hit a lot of balls being able to make the correct compensations during their swing. Most golfers would do much better if they will go to the effort of getting a really good grip at first and then you'd be surprised at seeing how it's going to improve your game. Because if the grip, again, if the grip's in your fingers, also one thing, you're going to be able to load the club better. If it's in the palm of your hand, it, it, it gets heavy. So get a little bit more down in your fingers the V's towards the right side of your chest and, and you're on your way. Okay, welcome to our next segment on posture. So what we're going to do is try to give you a, a really good understanding on how to get into the ball with correct posture each time. So what I coach basically is that I want the golfer to have the center of mass over the balls of the feet. That's, that's, a, that's a great athletic position to play from if you think of a linebacker or a guard in basketball. So how do we do that in golf? Basically, very simple. You can go ahead and get your grip, all right? So when you flex your knees, just be aware that your knees should not get over towards your toes. And now if you notice when I do that, my weight's kind of moving that way and that's going to influence path. Okay, so think of an accordion, slight flex in the knees, and then at the pelvis, do a slight bend to where if this is 12 o'clock you're just bending to about 1 o'clock. You don't want to see a lot of movement out this way. Okay, So just think, get a nice grip, little flex in the knees, okay, little f flex from the base of the spine or pelvis and now we're ready to go. And if you feel, if you can't tap your toes, you probably got too much weight on your toes and vice versa if you feel a lot of mass in your heels that's going to be too much also. So again think of your setup as influencing your motion and you'll be well on your way to better golf. Okay welcome to our next part on alignment and ball position. Okay so what we're going to do now is try to show you the best way to get into the shot and the reasons we miss aim. Golf is a side on sport which means we stand to the side of the ball and so a lot of the time during a lesson I see the golfers they're aiming right and I'm talking about the beginners to the elite level. So what we want to do is make sure when we set into the ball we're setting into a fashion to where the club face is aimed at our start line. We've got a noodle out there and that our body is parallel to it and that way I can make a motion that's going to allow us to get the ball started on our target. If we aim a little right or a little left, then we have to make a compensation path club face. So it's really important to pay attention to as you're getting into the ball, 
we got our start line and we got our body parallel left of the start line okay and then ball position is important also so we want the ball what I coach with a full shot on the irons is I want the ball just to the left side of our face driver a little bit more up fairway woods a little bit more up but if it's a if it's an iron or a hybrid I want it just to the left of center and that's going to be good so as you're as you're swinging through your hand should be approximately about four to five inches in front of the ball and there we have it we're in a good position to compress the ball okay welcome back to our game improvement series now what I'm going to do is knit together the last three segments on a good grip good posture and then alignment and ball position into a nice fluid routine which is very important so all really good golfers have a good routine and I believe the routine is something that anybody can do with some effort. All right, so first part, get behind the ball, visualize the shot you want to play. We've already determined at this point we're going to play a driver, five iron, seven iron. So now from here, I'm stepping in, take one or two steps, maybe three. Now I'm going into a nice grip, checking my grip. You'll see the tour players do this all the time. I saw Adam Scott who won this weekend checking his grip. So we got a nice grip. Now as I'm going into my stance checking my ball position just slightly forward to center Then I'm going to take one or two looks check my posture with the stance and then I'm going okay now you could incorporate a practice swing either back here or there that's a preference and that's quite all right you got to just try to figure out the elements of your routine but try to make it the same every time and if you do your chances of having a successful shot go way up. Good luck with your progress.